standing in has always been the hall of the National Railway Museum. This hall was a busy working engine shed built in 1877. So it would look very different to how it looks today. The roof was much lower, it would have been very dark, very dirty and very smoky. This top table is a much later edition, 1954. And when this was put in, this was state of the art. It's electrically powered, but if the power fails, we have got the option that we can hand wind it, as Pete is going to indicate with the lever. Now this is one of the biggest turntables in the country. This is 70 foot in diameter. And basically the bigger your turntable is, the bigger the locomotives you can put on it. So this turntable would have seen engines like Flying Scotsman and Mallard. Now why do we need turntables? Well, we don't need turntables much nowadays because most modern diesels and electrics have cabs at either end. So once you've driven your train into the station, the driver can get out of one cab, go along to the bottom, and then drive the train back out again. But if you're talking about steam locomotives, then they're actually quite important. First reason is storage, and this is clearly demonstrated here because tracks radiate out from the turntable. If you keep a couple of tracks free, you can move the locomotives around. This turntable